Poland. You can only imagine what this country in the Baltic holds for the rest of the world. With the release of the deadly Polish fly-eye drone, everyone, including the Russians, is in shock. Various countries boast of their suicide drones, with the KUB BLA peculiar to the Russians, the Harpy drone peculiar to the Israelis, and the MQ-9 Reaper peculiar to the Americans. Still, none can be said to be more superior to the Polish fly-eye drone, as this drone has bullied enemy defenses over the years. Well, all there is to know about this dangerous beauty will be thoroughly discussed in this video. However, before we get into the details, ensure to like this video and subscribe to the channel, Military Technology Updates. When the thought of a modern unmanned aerial vehicle comes to our mind, we're automatically taken to the pictures of dangerous looking American war machines like the MQ-1 Predator or the MQ-9 Reaper. When the word drone comes up, we tend to envision mini aircraft patrolling the airspace over the desert plains of the Middle East and built by Israeli armament companies. This view has continued to the extent that several individuals now see modern military unmanned aerial systems as technological symbols only the military of extremely rich countries can possess. Well, a country in Central Europe does not exactly come to mind as a manufacturer of the most advanced military systems and technologies. This country is Poland, which has remained a constant manufacturer of its own unique unmanned aerial system technologies over the years. Of course, this process was undergone to modernize the Polish army and its allies in various stabilization missions in countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. The various missions carried out by Polish commanders in Iraq and Afghanistan necessitated the need for the country to develop its image reconnaissance system. The result was the formation of the first Polish army unit made basically of unmanned aerial vehicles in 2006. On that occasion, an aerial reconnaissance squadron was created in the structure of a combat helicopter regiment. The task of this squadron was to provide image reconnaissance for other military units. While both the Aerial Reconnaissance Squadron and other smaller units of the Polish military utilized foreign-made unmanned aerial vehicles for previous missions, the creation of the squadron led many Polish researchers and production centers to commence work on the development of their design of such UAVs, which would meet the operational need of the Polish military. And this is how the Fly-Eye drone came to be. The Polish Fly-Eye The first reward for their hard work appeared some years later when at the Euro Satori Defense Industry Fair, organized in Paris, the tactically remote piloted Fly-Eye drone built by WB Electronics made its first world premiere. The UAV Fly-Eye was solely built by the Polish using technologies and solutions developed by the WB Group Engineering Unit. Several months after its world premiere in Paris, the Fly-Eye became a world masterpiece as it won the appreciation of the Polish Army. Several delegations from various countries also examined the Polish wonder evident in the fly-eye. Afterward, history was made as the armament protectorate of the Polish Ministry of Defense signed an agreement with WB Electronics Company. Contained in this contract was everything needed to ensure the smooth delivery of three modernized sets of fly-eye mini UAVs, four platforms in each set, for a whopping PLN 10.3 million. 10.3 Zloty, wow. The agreement also allowed for the optional procurement of nine more sets of this deadly beast. The UAVs were expected to be received by the Polish Territorial Defense Component. This agreement included the delivery of three modern fly-eye UAVs and a training package. This agreement meant that one set was expected to come with four UAVs, while the agreement was set at a value of 10,282,137.3 PLN deliveries, as stated in the Memorandum of Understanding, are expected to commence later this year. The fly eyes expect to be used by the territorial defense component of the Polish military, as the above branch had earlier received another product from WP Group Warmate Loitering Munitions. It's worth noting that other branches of the Polish military are already operating the fly eye mini UAV. However, the discussed case involves the Polish Ministry of Defense ordering the third and most recent generation of this UAV, which is believed to have been fitted with the new Optronic sensor and batteries. 
Furthermore, several upgrades were made to its transmitter receiver station and command and control systems. Similar upgrades were also implemented in the carrying cases and backpack. The contract also allowed for an optional procurement of extra nine sets of the UAV. Acting as parties to this agreement were WB Electronics, a subsidiary of WB Group, and the Treasury duly represented by the Armament Inspectorate of the Polish MOD. Earlier, the Inspectorate announced that the negotiations were actively taking place regarding the acquisition of the Fly-Eye UAVs. According to the release issued at the time, the total estimated value for the 12 sets was pegged at PLN 23.944 million. The order execution was carried out as a negotiation procedure without publishing any announcements. This was because special forces and artillery elements were already operating the Fly-Eye. The announcement also contained the plan of the military to modify its already optional Fly-Eye UAVs. The Fly-Eye drone is a short-range mini UAV built for surveillance and intelligence gathering purpose. It's a modular system that can be prepared for operation in shorter periods of less than 10 minutes. It can take off by hand, without extra equipment, and in limited spaces. Fly-Eye, by a standard, possesses a sensor built under its fuselage, two cameras, the visible light and thermal imaging camera present in the sensor system enable it to make possible switches between the two streams. The drone may be armed with light precision guided munitions, acoustic vector sensors, or even sensors capable of detecting the source of shots. Depending on its intended use, other sensor systems can also be integrated with the Fly-Eye. The Fly-Eye UAV solution contains the Fly-Eye UAV platforms, observation, and antenna systems, LGCS ground control station, data analysis station, portable RVT video terminal, and a simulator with video synthesis capabilities, its design and features. Featured in the Fly-Eye UAV is a compact airframe made of composite materials. It also boasts a modular structure that can be easily assembled and disassembled in a fully autonomous system with takeoff and landing capabilities. The Fly-Eye can go from docile to fully operational within 10 minutes and go as far as executing missions in confined spaces. The Fly-Eye drone comes in a 1.9 meter length a wingspan of 3.6 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of about 11 kilograms. It's capable of carrying a maximum payload of 4 kilograms, which can be carried in two backpacks. The manned portable drone requires two people to operate it, and it's hand-launched with recovery possible using a parachute. The flight route of the drone can be pre-programmed by its operator, and it's capable of being modified during flight. The UAS also features a training simulator, which helps educate the crew in planning missions, managing system parameters, and carrying out tasks with the simulation of the flight environment. The simulator also enables the team mimic surveillance payload control and observation. The system has been installed in its anti-spin and anti-icing systems to ensure improved flight safety. The drone can also be integrated with an SKOM border fire control system and a Topaz automated fire control system to ensure fire reconnaissance for artillery operations. Communications of the Fly-Eye UAV The Fly-Eye UAV communication system operates in harmony with NATO's military frequency bands ranging between 4.4 GHz and 5.0 GHz. Meanwhile, the drone can automatically retract to its last radio contact position or land at a predefined point in the event of a loss of communication. The UAV also features a tactical and maritime antenna, an emergency location, and a recovery device based on a global position system GPS. The UAV also carries standard military connectors. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel Military Technology Updates. Alright, let's get back to the video. Payloads aboard the Fly-Eye UAV Under the fuselage of the Fly-Eye UAV is the surveillance payload which includes two cameras fitted to capture video imagery in real time and provide a perfect observation range for the UAV. Attached to the drone is a computer hard drive that records telemetric data. This data ranges from day transmission speed, time, flight attitude, and coordinates of the current image, among several other information during the flight. The communication system on board the Fly-Eye UAV was contracted to RootTech Communications for its development. The drone's also equipped with GS4 Daylight and infrared IR observation payload. 
FlyEye UAV Ground Control Station. The FlyEye UAV is controlled by two ergonomic light GCS's control. Communication between the drone and the ground control station is made possible by installing a transceiver station. This is done by transmitting video streams generated by the air system in real time. The drone also carries a portable and compact remote video terminal, RVT, to enable it to receive imagery and videos. Furthermore, flight control missions and telemetric data can be transmitted or received via digital link. Engine and Performance the FlyEye UAV sources its power from an electric engine that uses lithium polymer batteries. This engine boasts a speed ranging from 50 km per hour to 170 km per hour and can operate at high altitudes of 1,000 meters above the takeoff point. The highest altitude it can attain above sea level is 4,000 meters. The UAV also can carry out missions for up to 3 hours depending on weather conditions. Its operating temperature ranges from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius and can go as far as withstanding speeds up to 12 meters per second and humidity of 95% and 50 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the estimated standard lifespan of the FlyEye drone is 300 missions. Its orders and deliveries. In February of 2013, a contract was placed by the Polish Army with WB Electronics seeking them to supply 12 sets of the FlyEye Unscrewed Aerial Systems UAS, to enable them to carry out surveillance and destruction missions. This led to WB Electronics signing a contract with the Inspectorate for Arms of the Ministry of Defense for Poland to deliver three upgraded, small-sized, third-generation FlyEye UAVs for the Polish Territorial Defense Forces in December 2018. Contained in the contract was also an option for nine more UAVs. WB Electronics signed a contract from the Expectorate for Arms of the Ministry of Defense of Poland to deliver three upgraded small-sized third-generation fly-eye UAVs for the Polish Territorial Defense Forces in December 2018. The contract also includes an option for nine more UAVs. The first batches were successfully delivered to the Polish Armed Forces in December 2018. NATO Support and Procurement Agency NSPA, and WB Group July 2019 signed a supplemental agreement to upgrade the already existing FlyEye UAVs. The upgrades were meant to modernize the drone and rise its configuration standards to foster the interoperability of the Polish Army with NATO countries. The agreement also provisions for repair kits, training, and ongoing maintenance services. A GSC with an antenna accompanies the upgraded version of the FlyEye. The upgrade also saw a weight reduction of the drone to enable it to operate for longer durations on the station. In February 2019, Additional FlyEye UAVs were ordered by Poland from the WB Group for $12.5 million. The additional UAVs are expected to be delivered to the rocket and artillery forces of the Polish military by 2023. If you enjoy watching videos like this, then leave a like and ensure to subscribe to the channel Military Technology Updates. That way, you don't miss out on our next videos. Alright, take care.